Anxiety is a solution, not a problem. Bear with me here. I'm going to explain this line of thinking and it's going to really help you understand your anxiety better in order to overcome it. So a lot of us think anxiety is this big problem that we need to get rid of. But we don't understand is the reason we don't want to get rid of it is because it's a solution. We're, we're solving a problem by being anxious. So the reason that we're not able to get rid of it is because we need it. And so you can't really get rid of your anxiety until you don't need it. So the, one of the reasons we feel anxious, and obviously there's different forms of anxiety, but one of the reasons we feel anxious is because we're emotionally blind. So we essentially have this perception in our body or this kind of feeling that like something's not right, like something is just not okay. And so we use that feeling as a reason to worry and catastrophize and intellectualize and overthink. And so we have that sense of something's not right, and then we just worry and have anxiety, essentially. And so the reason that we do this is because we don't want to feel the pain of that fear uh, or whatever negative emotion is down there in that, like, not feeling okay sensation. And so essentially we develop emotion blindness in order to protect ourselves from negative, painful emotions. It makes perfect sense. Like maybe we were feeling negative emotions, they weren't helping us, and we were like, you know what? I'm just not going to do that anymore. But the problem is, is that emotions don't really go away. So they're always down there and they're always kind of like festering. And so that's partially what anxiety is, is that we kind of have this like nagging feeling that like something's not okay, but we don't know what because we're emotionally blind and we can't figure it out. So we just think and think and think and think and we try to think our way out of it, but that creates more problems because now we're even more anxious and we can't seem to solve it because we can't seem to think our way out of it or maybe we can't seem to like do enough to prevent ourselves from being anxious and the reason is because this is not a behavior problem this is not a thinking problem this is a feeling problem and we need to actually understand what we're feeling because the feelings that our mind produces are important information and so when you have that information being produced somewhere in your mind but you're kind of like being blind to it of course you're going to have a sense of anxiety because the mind is concerned that you're not reading this important information that it's giving you and so when you are able to develop a kind of like an emotional granularity which means you're able to like feel your emotions and identify them in a very specific way you'll usually see a big big reduction in anxiety because then you're able to realize like hey I'm feeling a lot of fear right now and it makes perfect sense why I would be feeling fear maybe I have a big presentation tomorrow and that's okay like it's okay that I'm feeling that fear but then that way you can actually feel it you can process it and you can go on with your life you don't have to spend your entire day trying to figure out like why you have this weird like nagging feeling that something's wrong because you're actually able to identify it you're no longer emotionally blind so that's one of the reasons we have so much anxiety is because we're having higher and higher rates of emotion blindness in our society and so as we become more emotionally blind we tend to see higher rates of anxiety so if this is you um, this is this is something that can be resolved you can learn to identify and process your emotions and then typically you feel so much better if this is something you'd like to work on feel free to book an intro session in my link in my bio I would love to chat with you